Hey everyone, it's excited to sit here with you today and really excited and blessed and honored to be sitting here with two of the powerful wise women of the Seasons of Womanhood uh, program that's starting here soon. Um, and I was excited to have the opportunity to sit down and introduce you to a couple of these, uh, a couple of these women and um, hear from them what's going on uh, in their program and uh, have this conversational thread of an interview. Um, so as the, the founder of Rites of Passage Council, I feel really blessed um, and honored again to have these, this program and a couple of the women from the program, um, B and Tree. And um, <laughs> the other two that aren't with us today um, are Callie and Kat. So thank you, B and Tree, for being here and uh, having this conversation with me about this exciting new program for this year. Um, so one of my thoughts when uh, I've watched the unfolding and, and had conversations with, with you and with Kat around uh, this offering is that um, I know that in your, in your conversations uh, with, with other women, there's this concept of calling. And, and longing, like what's bringing this into form? What's, what's dreaming this into being? Um, and as I reflected on that, I realized it's, it's more than a personal longing. It's something collectively happening on the planet. Um, this idea of the, the rising of the wise and powerful feminine that's deeply needed on our planet in a, in a, uh, in a response to the imbalances that show up in our uh, systems of uh, oppression and systems of uh, economic uh, resources and, and you know all the other isms that exist on mm -hmm. the planet. So I wanted to hear from you what uh, some some information, some conversation around what it is is that's stirring in you, and what you're excited about in this offering. Yeah, thanks, Cater. Um, so when Kat uh, first approached uh, the circle of us to to start working on this program, um, I had a dream, and the dream was I was on top of a mountain and I could see. The, the flow of the mountain below me, and there were all these circles of women that were gathered doing healing work. Mm. And um, this program is that for me. This program is the opportunity for women to support women, um, for connection to the divine, for connection with each other, for connection to the planet, um, for healing circles. Um, to help women, myself included, to enrich that bond of the oneness of the whole community of the planet together um, in a way that um, I haven't seen or experienced before in my life. Um, so I feel very personally called to the circle to the circles of women um, doing the archetypal exploration around the wheel of life. Um, archetypal exploration is a new experience for me and it's giving me a map of my own life um, and uh, points of, of uh, context and contact um, for me to deepen into to um, become more of who I came here to be in this world. Um, so I'm thrilled about the offer. I'm thrilled about the circles of women collecting and gathering um, all across the planet. I feel like this is a time that this is really happening and um, our timing couldn't be more divinely orchestrated. Mm, thank you. You know, as you're speaking, one of the things that I hear that comes through is as you speak about it, there's this uh, frequency of, of grief Mm. is I believe connected with this longing yeah. of uh, returning to this way of being in circle. Absolutely. Um, as, as if not something created, but something remembered. 
Absolutely, uh, I would agree. Lost over the, over the you know millennium. I would I would agree. I definitely feel that deeply. So it sounds like a, um, a call and response to something deeper that's being dreamed through mm. the four of you mm -hmm. uh, into this you know into this physical plane of experience. Um, so I can uh, I hear that sense of being making yourselves available to be this these these four hollow bones. Yeah. The more deeply listen to what the what I would say the earth is dreaming through you mm -hmm. that the earth is needing in response uh, from the from the human species. Absolutely. Or part of what the name part of one of those. Mm -hmm. Definitely a piece. Yeah. Thank you. What else tree would you add? What's what speaks to you in all of this? Yeah, thank you. Um, so as I was listening to B share, I left the story, as we say, and remembered sitting around the fire in New Mexico. And this was at the end of um, the training program with you, Cater, and it became increasingly apparent to me that I was to do this work in co-creation with other women. And the simple way to put the calling for me was the response of how I showed up in that circle, listening to the call, thinking it was for someone else and realizing that it was actually for me. Mm -hmm. And continuing that thread within some of my own experience of showing up in the shadow aspects of the mother archetype and how me responding to that call from the very beginning um, was that call for being initiated and individualizing because I grew up way too fast. And I know many women in, in the world have similar stories and this collaboration is about that. It's about women supporting women and finding the lost parts of themselves, the parts that weren't honored and re-establishing um, from the ground up in nature with each other using the support and the mirrors within to really honor and start to love in new ways um, that are healthy and, and being those models for each other through the process. And I'm really excited because the, um, the moon is involved in it. And so there's this uh, relation of nature and the tides and how we all are really one as B was speaking to and um, using nature as the medicine to go back to our roots with each other. As a, as a listen to the threads of the conversation that you're weaving in, um, some of the words that, that hooked my attention is this concept of um, that, that women are often simply giving by our culture certain uh, very limited and sometimes shadow presentations of what the feminine can look like. And you mentioned mm -hmm. the shadow presentation of the mother energy, um, kind of just all giving or all consuming or constantly uh, putting them, putting their other needs aside on behalf mm -hmm. of others. And then you mentioned the archetypal kaleidoscope of resources i would say that are available to identify within the within the feminine psyche um, mm -hmm. a much more comprehensive deep perspective on these 13 archetypes of the feminine um, both their clear and true and, and um, generative side and also the shadow qualities mm -hmm. which often happens uh, i would imagine when when, when these other aspects aren't acknowledged or, or blessed in our culture, um, mm -hmm. that these things can go into shadow and, and be um, a, a less generative presentation. And 
And then the other word I heard was this differentiation uh, that I often speak to with rites of passage is uh, initiated. Um, and I, uh, in speaking with, we're actually, I was speaking with Kat the other day, and we were talking about this concept of the initiated versus the uninitiated. And I was speaking on behalf of, you know, what I see going on in the realm uh, with men is this idea of um, where masculinity is falling under this umbrella called the patriarchy, and all we know is there's nothing good about it. And so we turn towards uh, this thing called the feminine or the matriarchy. And yet in, in that realm, there are what I would call the uninitiated masculine or the initiated masculine, very similar to the uninitiated feminine or the initiated feminine. Mm -hmm. um, and this concept of initiation means to, in my way of thinking, to be able to deeply resource uh, the various archetypal energies within oneself um, that are that are coming forth from the gifts and the medicine that one has to offer <clears throat> to their community as opposed to more of a, a a culturally defined mythology of identity that is put on women mm -hmm. men um, so it's it's something that uh, uh, in a way what I hear is something that also this this uh, seasons of women and archetypal deep exploration um, also is a call to the masculine to do the same thing mm. uh, to deepen into their own um, resourcefulness so that we have a much fuller completer picture um, I think it's why in why in ancient cultures the women initiated the women and the men initiated men um, but I find that we have uh, in our in our Western uh, modern society, a culture of uh, uninitiated adolescent adults running around um, setting policies. <laughs> um, so these are things that are stirring me. It's something I'm grateful for, and what y'all are offering. I just wanted to to speak to that those things that you you brought up in my mind as you spoke. Anything else that you would like to share? Um, that's stirring in you or stirring through you about this offering. I know you have this initial uh, six-week course of the study of the 13 archetypes of the feminine that begins this February 1st. Um, and then you have, if, you, if the women complete that, there is the next step of a a weekend ritual immersion experience mm -hmm. where they come together in person and then once having completed that um, there is a, a nine-day forest prayer fast um, if one wanted to do all three and my understanding is you could do the first or the first and the second or the first second and the third of those offerings um, which is a wonderful way to to reach women all over the world that might not be able to show up here in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina to spend some time with the four of you around the fire. Yeah, that, that was purposely designed to be accessible, knowing that women often um, are um, consumed with caregiving duties or um, have can have a challenge putting themselves on the priority list in terms of experiences of, and how, how time is spent in their life. Um, so the program was designed to build on each other, to be an integrative process um, during the, I believe it's a nine month window beginning to end, mm -hmm. um, which was also an interesting uh, correlation um, and um, a deepening in the circle of connection um, with, with each other. Um, I'd say that uh, in terms of my own um, uninitiated adventure around the wheel, um, that there was a time in my life that when I, when I became a mother, let's say, that I was so consumed and, and connected to the essence of that archetype that the other archetypal expressions that I, that I had, I abandoned. Um, and 
till I reached a point in my midlife where I really wasn't sure who I was or what my purpose was anymore and felt a bit untethered and disconnected from my own being. Um, so for me, this archetypal um, dance around the wheel is allowing me to um, touch in to all the aspects around the wheel, all the different archetypes that I hold within me and heal the shadow sides and the uninitiated parts and um, step more fully into the expressions um, that I'm now ready to do. Thank you, thank you. Anything else you'd like to share, Tree? Yeah, I, um, well, I've been um, really just enjoying my dance around the wheel with the three other facilitators as we've uh, been working together to develop this program. And it's really taken me on my own journey of initiation just in preparation. So noticing that and also recognizing, you know, this uh, feminine and masculine aspect and how, you know, within each of us is that feminine and masculine. And, you know, there's certain points on the wheel um, in which that's, that's what initiates within a woman. And so what I love most about our offer is the fact that it's a very experiential embodiment that we begin with. And as we grow and build over that nine month period of essentially rebirthing ourselves, um, that that is, that's the fun of, of what we're offering is that it's truly a, an experience that we're all going through together as we have each other to support one another in what these archetypes mean to us as individuals and um, within what we see around us. Great, thank you. And so I just wanna close by, by offering my gratitude once again for you listening uh, to, this, to this energy moving through and becoming those hollow bones to channel this this uh, true and beautiful and powerful medicine into our global community and through rites of passage council. So uh, um, grateful and blessed mm. to uh, to bear witness to this unfolding. So I want to thank you for that. Mm. And and as a call to those of you that are listening, um, I really invite you all to uh, to sign up, to check in, to explore. Um, all three or any part of this uh, this uh, offering from uh, B and Tree and Callie and Cat. Um, it sounds like it's going to be um, a very powerful experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. So much gratitude for you joining me today and um, I look forward to, to seeing all that unfolds with this beautiful offering. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cater. All right. Everyone go well. Bye. <laughs>